Nigeria. I remember in 1994, USA 94, which was the first World Cup Nigeria participated in. Um, I was about eight or nine years old then. And there was the first game, so Nigeria's first game at the World Cup, and Rashidi Yakini scored a goal. Yakini coming for the cross, score! And, you know, and immediately scored that goal. He went inside the net and put his hands up, like, go! And I was like, yo, this is crazy. I don't have a lot of memories from 1994, of course I was very young, but I remember exactly what I was doing that day. And I remember just looking for nets across my house, like, <laughs> well, I didn't see any nets <laughs> that I could put my hands. And then 1996, the Nigeria-Brazil um, at the Olympics was also just like a very powerful moment. So there is a historic moment. Football has just brought everybody together. You don't remember where you're from. You're just very excited to just like be part of it. And you know, at those moments, you're just so proud to be part of this continent, this country. I started learning more about the opportunities in football. I started listening to stories of footballers, people that just, just really, really love to play football. There's the coach, there's the doctor, there's, there's architects. Like, in every profession, I've seen people that they just, like, love this sport and they're just looking for ways to contribute. And it's like, you know what, it might be a good idea to just, like, do something, bring everybody together. Can we develop players? Can we develop the best coaches? Can we explore the transformative power of sports to inspire and unite our generation? I think football is a platform. I build platforms <laughs> for a living. What if we created a football club that all of us can own and support? And as class of 2022 young people, we just band together, create a world-class football club football academy and just get behind this in a way that just like brings all of us together the number of reasons why a football club like sports in lagos should exist in lagos um, i think the first one is just the power of this to just like inspire and unify um, our people um, another is just to just like create opportunities in the city for people for footballers for the ecosystem around it i grew up in lagos and for different people we've been here at different points in our lives and it will be good to just have that team where we can all support we can all get behind i think just being primarily a software engineer is just about problem solving the multiple problems we're trying to solve you know how do we build a football club from scratch? You know, it sounds simple, but you can imagine the different answers to that. And then it keeps going to, you know what, what does long-term talent development mean? What does it take for Nigeria to win the World Cup? What does it take for a footballer to play in Nigeria instead of traveling to go play in another country? What does it take for an international footballer to come play in Nigeria? So I think, the bunch of questions we have, and I think my experience in tech just teaches me, like, how do you answer questions? Technology is an amplifier. Technology allows multiple people just do something here, and it goes, it, co it goes like, it knows no bounds. This is what I call Lagos to the world. How do we take this spirit of Lagos, how do we take it to the world? How does the person, the kid sitting in New York City just be fanatical about what is happening in Lagos. And I think football can do that. Nigerian music, Afrobeat has done that. Nigerian movies, Nollywood has done that. I think Nigerian football, Nigerian sports can be amplified to the world. We have a full team, we have coach. Our first game is on February 12, 2022 at Teslimba Logan Stadium. And we're inviting you to join us to just get a peek of what this will look like. But keeping it simple, we're not trying to fill up the stadium yet. <laughs> you know, we're starting with just a few people that we can create a very, very good experience for. And then we will continue to learn 
from there. This is a big, big project and I think my role here is just like helping to get it started. And you can be part of it because we all own it. We all do it together. We want this community to last for generations. Manchester United is over 120 years old. Enyiba Football Club was created in 1976. Kano Pillars in 1990. As the class of 2022 young people, you know, what can we create that can last so long? We're building a football academy. Can we think about how to develop the next generation of 11 to 16 year olds? Can we have a women's team? Can Sporting Lagos qualify for the NPFL? Can we go play in the CAF Champions League? Can these players contribute to helping Nigeria become successful? Can Nigeria win the World Cup? There's so many things we can do together. We're also asking you to join us to be founding members. Founding members will be ingrained in the history of this football club. As founding members, you get a jersey, season ticket to our first season, and you can give these tickets to anybody else if you're not in town. And most importantly, you will be part of our history forever. Whatever we do, we would recognize our founding members. So please come be a founding member and let's support this together. Let's build this together. This is class of 2022. In 100 years time, in 50 years time, we will be proud for building this. This is something we did at this point in our lives. I'm very proud to be part of this generation of young people and I'm glad we're doing this together.